Joining us on KJ Today, it is an actor you know from Wings, The Shining, Chicago Med, and so much more. Stephen Weber is here. Hi, KJ. Good morning. Stephen Weber, welcome to the KJ Today Show. This is a place for the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. And I tell you what, when I when I brought your name up, it's always fun, you know, with a, a such an accomplished actor like you to ask people, like, you know, what what are we going to talk about? And you know, obviously, Wings came up and The Shining because of October, but overwhelmingly, everybody that you know is is, is here tuned in just loves the character Dr. Dean Archer on Chicago Med, uh, which we got a new episode tomorrow. So let's start off by you know talking about your involvement. Because if I remember correctly, this was supposed to be maybe a, a smaller recurring role, and and you're still here with us. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Good morning. Uh, yes, he was supposed to be a very problematic, even scary little uh, character who was not going to last very long. But I think they, the show liked the dynamic of the character and whatever it was I was bringing to it. And they decided to keep him around. Um, the funny thing is that when I bump into medical people in the real world, they will often say, you know, your character, Dean Archer, who, if you don't know, is a short-tempered, he's a bit of an egomaniac, etc. He's actually pretty close to the reality of what a lot of these doctors are like. <laughs> and uh, not that not that a lot of them aren't great-looking and heroic, but uh, <laughs> the day-to-day... <laughs> The day-to-day uh, wear and tear of that job can make a person, you know, not particularly pleasant to be around. Uh, but the show thought that it would be a good addition um, to their already kind of storied characters and cast. And uh, I'm so grateful to be to be on this show. And I know you can't talk a lot about where the the character is going, but we're aware of the the you know his own medical issues. When you start to find out, okay, well, you know, maybe my uh, maybe my character isn't going to last as long as I'd like. Is that um, uh, is it? Does it change the way that you are are playing things? Do you get you know? Are th- there's emotions that get involved? And obviously, I, I hope he continues on for many, many, many years. But there is that element that we know about. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, there is a, there's a, a little bit of uh, trepidation when you open up a script. I imagine it's like being on the old on the show The Sopranos, where people open up the script thinking, "Am I going to get whacked this week?" Um, and my particular character is interesting because, yeah, he has had some medical issues, but those have, for the most part, been resolved. But in the upcoming shows, there are more challenges and struggles for this character and in the, as well as the other characters uh, that put a little fear into your heart. Think, oh, my gosh, is is he going to be around? Is he? <laughs> and, I, and to put everybody at ease without taking too much of the mystery away, I would say, yeah, I think he's safe. It's safe to say that Dean Archer is going to be around for a little while, but uh He's going to be challenged, and um, yeah, it's a, it's interesting it, because of the reality of uh, being a, a working actor in this industry, where work is quite often hard to come by. And recently, it's been very difficult for uh, a, a lot of amazing performers and, and, and technical people and creative people out there in terms of getting work. Um, there's always something uh, added to the experience of. Of reading a script, thinking, "Oh God, here it comes!" Oh no! Yeah, and, and so yeah, there's a little fear, a little desperation. You want to do a little better. You want to want to be a little nicer, a little more efficient, so people don't uh, <laughs> don't think that you're expendable. <laughs> uh, so it it it's been interesting. We're here in Indianapolis, and uh, I you know I have a a, a podcast as well as this show that's called the kind of nerdy girls. It's like, you know, deep into any kind of, you know, fandoms. And it was interesting to see how these shows, you know, you know, all of the Chicago shows have grown into a fandom and a, in a community. And I know that was just a a convention last month up in Chicago, kind of celebrating all of the actors Mm -hmm. from all of the shows. Do you, uh, do you participate in those, you know, fan experiences? Is that something you enjoy as an actor? 
Um, it is. I, I was unable to participate in the, the recent one involving the um, Chicago shows. But in the past, I've done so-called autograph conventions and fan conventions, and they are often incredible. Not often. They always are. Uh, it's amazing to actually meet people that, that like your work and like the show. Um, and it's often moving and, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's a great part of, of, of being on a show like this. It has a big fan base and, uh, a lot of people get so much from this show. Um, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I look forward to doing some more in the future if possible. Uh, I want to switch over because uh, I'm the kitty correspondent for Pet Pals TV. So anytime that we can talk about animals, uh, I, I'm going to take the chance here, Stephen. Uh, and you were the sure. voice of Charlie B. Barkin and All Dogs Go to Heaven. <laughs> uh, so let's switch over to voice acting a little bit and uh, want to know, you know, do you have a, a strong connection? Do you have your own pets? And was you know playing a character like that fun for you? Well, first off, it was a lot of fun for me, not least because I got to work with Dom DeLuise, mm -hmm. uh, among others, Ernest Borgnine, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm a relatively new dog person, as is my family. I, I re really didn't have pets growing up, and with my family, with my kids, and uh, we didn't have a dog until fairly recently. So we are the... the um, we are owned by our <laughs> beloved dog, whose name is Cat. We have a dog named Cat. And uh, <laughs> Cat is a, yep, she's a Jack Russell uh, dachshund mix. So she's fast and uh, and she's she's made our lives um, just wonderful. Um, so I've become a devoted dog person. Um, and uh, I, there's even a, I, we even, we, I, I even, const, I, const, I, uh, I constantly post pictures of her mm. online. Uh, she's been everything. So uh, I now get it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dog person, a dog named cat person. Yeah. I got to ask the, you know, because naming a pet is, I mean, that's, it's big in the beginning, like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Uh, did uh, did yeah. Cat uh, come with the name Cat? Or how was the family discussion in, in settling on this dog it, it should be called Cat? <laughs> no, I, I, I think her original name was Bernadette. And I think that had too many syllables in it for my, my kids, my kids who at the time were, you know, <laughs> late teenagers. I think they thought it would be amusing to name the dog Cat. Uh, and uh, and so it just stuck. It was really fun, and it's a good conversation starter. <laughs> I love it. I uh, want to switch over. I have a, a, a fan listening named Charles who uh, is big into into Marvel, and I know that you have uh, uh -huh. had a little experience with uh, some voice work with Avengers Assemble and Ultimate Spider Man. Are you are you right. a, a Marvel fan as well? I am, you know, I am a Marvel fan and also some aspects of DC as well. But yeah, I was, <laughs> I was there completely for all the Marvel movies. Um, Cause I grew up with that world. I was a big comic book nerd when I was mm -hmm. like, really small. And uh, I wish I'd kept all those issues cause I'd be a wealthy man now. Right. But, um, <laughs> I love, yo oh, gosh. Yeah. It's, but that, it's so silly to say that I, it's like saying, I wish I'd kept all the loose change that I just put in the, you know, in the, in the cushions of my, my, <laughs> my seat car, or my, my car seats. Um, yeah, I loved that world a lot. And so being able to voice Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin in Ultimate Spider-Man was fantastic fun. I, I just felt so privileged to play a, a minute part in that world, that brilliant world. Is is that something that if you had a, an opportunity to, you know, if that, you know, Kevin Feige came to you, is there a particular character that you might like to, you know, uh, bring to the big screen? Oh, look, uh, it, it just to, uh, it would be great to do something on screen in that world. Um, uh, it, I, it wouldn't have to even be heroic. I could be just a paper pusher, you know, that works <laughs> uh, in the in the Avengers office. I mean, there's got to be. There's got to be custodians that work at the big, uh, you know, Avengers base, right? The, the, I remember seeing a skit a long time ago that um, 
about the the Death Star and Darth Vader, you know, there had to be people uh, who, who worked for Darth Vader in the catering uh, 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 portion of the Death Star, you know, and they had to do that stuff. That'd be fine. I would absolutely do any of that. <laughs> I honestly, that uh, you bring that up, and I'm thinking that would be a, an interesting perspective for Marvel to take of the uh, the the cleaning staff and and, and the catering That's staff. Right. The, the cleanup. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine being being the Hulk's cleanup staff? That would be terrible. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, the, but the benefits are great, I guess. <laughs> All right, Stephen uh, Weber here with us on the uh, KJ Today Show. Uh, Chicago Med, uh, we, we love it here. We love what you're doing. And I, I certainly, I think there were, you know, some fans that uh, breathed a sigh of relief to hear that we still get more of, of Dr. Archer and we will be cheering you on. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Stephen. Uh, thanks for having me, KJ. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining me for another celebrity interview. KJ Today, where you'll find the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. If you like this interview, please make sure you give it a like, rate, review, and subscribe. And join us on YouTube the first Wednesday of every month for the full KJ Today show, where we play trivia, bring you more celebrity guests, and even a pet of the week to keep you feeling the positive vibes. 